Hello Gutenberg fans, I'm Valerie. Welcome back to our MotoPress YouTube channel. This tutorial will cover anchor links, what they actually do, and why you might want to start using them. I'll show you how to easily add anchor links with the help of the Anchor Block by Gatwit, as well as outline the main benefits of it. So you could incorporate this kind of links into your site too. Let's start with the definition. What are anchor links? What happens when you cast an anchor into the water? Right, the anchor holds the ship or boat in place. You still have the freedom to move a certain distance from the anchor point, but regardless of which way you go, you are restricted to a particular radius. That's analogous to how anchor links function on a web page. Anchor, also known as jump links, are links that immediately take you to a specific part of the page sometimes even an external page. One of the biggest advantages of anchor links is creating a better user experience when browsing your site and entice users to actually take the action you want them to take. They help organize the content on the website in a semantic manner, especially if the content is long. Scrolling down tons of information to find the needed section no longer needed. The users save their time. Furthermore, using anchor links correctly can even aid you in boosting your search engine optimization. So why get it? As we all know, the heading Gutenberg block lets you create anchors in WordPress. Maybe that's enough or not. <laughs> However, it works for heading destinations only. While the anchor block by Gatwit adds extra functionality to the Gutenberg editor, allowing you to place anchors next to any content element. Did you hear that? Any content element. Different blocks such as galleries, sliders, banners, and more. Not limiting you to just headings. Having said that, let's take a look at how to easily add anchors with the block of Gatwit. You can install the plugin directly from the WordPress dashboard. Just go to Dashboard, Plugins, Add New, and search for Gatwit. Then just click on Install Now and activate the plugin. That's it, you're done. If you want to upload the plugin manually, you can download the plugin from the wordpress.org. After I've installed and activated Gatwit, I'm going into my post. I want the readers could book an event, not live in this post. For this, I have already added the buttons and appointment form blocks. This will be two-step process. The buttons block will be the block that I want to have an anchor link on. The target content will be the appointment wizard inserted with the appointment form block. First of all, you need to go to the target part where you want your visitors to jump after clicking. Click the plus icon and add the anchor block. Give it a unique name and copy it. Now I'll pick a button that will bring people to the anchor area. Click on the link icon. Type the tag and paste your unique anchor name. This will create a quick page jump to the area where we put the anchor block. Click the switch toggle if you want your link to be opened in the new tab. Now let's preview the page. You can link any text part in just the same way. Add the anchor block to the part where you need people to land after clicking on the text. Give it a unique name and just highlight the text area and add a link to your previously created anchor. And again, this will allow the visitors to literally flow through a website page. As you see, if we compare it to the heading block, the anchor block is more adjustable since each content element that has linking functionality can be linked to any other page part, whether it is an image, button or text. We hope this tutorial was informative and you've learned how to easily utilize and make the most of the Anchor Block by Gatwit. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get new video updates. See you in the next one. Take care!